All right, legends. We got something new. They didn't stick the badge on it straight, but it is working. We have a two auto medium frequency induction furnace. So, what you've got is a 16 amp power supply, a pile of fans, a pile of transistors and uh, capacitors, the basic display board, a flow and return pump, which gets quite warm. That's what actually keeps the uh, IGBTs, IBGTs, IGBTs, whatever. Cool. There's five of these big fans in the box. So this has now been going for two minutes. See, two minutes at what it calls 4,200 watts. That's already glowing in two minutes. So that's aluminium copper radiator, smashed up pieces there. I need to put something under it to hold that crucible up properly. So I don't really like the way that sits. Because when you turn this off, you want to get that out of there and let this all cool down like that. So we're just going to leave it at 4200 for a few minutes. We might, at five minutes, we might change it. Let's turn the flash back off. So you actually see the glow. See, she's glowing. I know the noise is probably horrible on camera and I apologise, but just giving you a, uh, a real look at this thing. You will see the lights flicker from time to time. That's not because of this. It's because it's an LED high bay I got out of the scrap bin. And I just thought, let's just plug that in. And it actually works. Just every now and again it flickers. That's four minutes. So the water coming back out of this is just circulated in a bucket. I've just got a fan there blowing on the bucket. Now I was having issues with this when I first pulled it out of the box. Uh, I'll link this in my YouTube description as well. Um, they're on eBay. And uh, I got this for 800 bucks. I put an offer in on it. Um, the fan heater's there to trick this into thinking that there's under 235 volts on this circuit. And as soon as this fires up, I turn the elements off and just leave the fan running, just the fan just blowing onto that uh, water supply there, just just keeping everything cool. It does have all kinds of thermal protection and that kind of stuff. It took about a week and a half to come. It was in Sydney already. They're retailing for like about a thousand bucks normally. Really cool set of tongs with a holder. You can kind of hold on and tip. Now, I need to tip that out of there. We did a little pour before just to test it. Because I was talking to the tech support team about it. Uh, I was getting what they call an error 20. An error 20 is... Yeah, we can back it off now. save ourselves a bit of energy and heat. Error 20 is apparently over voltage. In the manual it actually says over pressure. When they speak in pressure they're talking about voltage. Which puzzled me a little bit at the first. At first but these things happen. Oh, let's just open him up for a sec. Deliciously hot in there. Crucible up on top for a sec. Oh, you can see it falling in. No, you can't. All you guys can see is heat. It's all those little um, couple of pebbles are just falling in at the moment. Sure, you have gloves on. That's a bit silly. Um, so we turn this down to two and a half thousand. I don't know if that's actually indicative of watts. I don't have a watt meter that can measure this yet. Um, I was planning on running this on an inverter, but I don't think that's going to be a thing. 
judging by what we're seeing now. The water pump is annoying, noise-wise, but uh, exceptionally necessary, so I can put up with this doing its job in less than 10 minutes when the first one in that takes over an hour. Okay, we got that nice and hot. Got these couple of bits here will give them a remelt as well. Lead back on. Definitely feel some heat coming out of this beast now. So I might actually run that return line there uh, back through something aluminium, like an old radiator or AC condenser or something, before it goes back to the bucket in future, just to dissipate a bit of heat. Uh, that top of that water steaming, the bottom of the bucket's still cool, so I did try and push the suction down a bit. It's very smart if something happens it turns itself off. Okay, let's lift the lid see what's going on in there. Mm. Nice and warm in there. Certainly warm enough. We'll do an aluminium video after this one, after we give it a bit of time to cool down. It goes, it goes to 5500, so yeah, we're not going to roast that far. I'm going to need two hands, I don't have my tripod or anything out here, to do the next bit. But uh, I'll come back when it's liquid and then I'll pour it and show you what we end up with. It's all liquid. Let's pour it out. <laughs> 